earlier I had talked to my mom on the phone. It was very, very emotional on both ends and stuff, you know, some, uh, something I've been working hard for for the past year. Uh, I'm just happy, man. I'm ready to um, I'm ready to work. So. What did your mom share with you if you were comfortable? Um, she, she just said that she knew the day was going to come. Um, she's proud, proud of me uh, and that she loved me. So. What was the moment like for you and, and who delivered the news and kind of just what, what was the entire final moment? Um, so I actually was in a meeting um, and they told me and, uh, you know, I said I had smiles. So, um, man, it's just a, it was the moment that I've been waiting, waiting on. So I'm kind of really ain't hit me yet because I'm a ball player and I'm just ready to work. But, you know, I'm saying it'll probably hit me when I get get back home. Patience was huge for me last, last year because, you know, how, like, everybody is – honestly used to be in the guy in college so when you get to a place that like you have real like dudes here it's like oh man but um kind of took it kind of took it as a plus though you know what i'm saying sit behind guys uh, like uh, donald malik jk and stuff uh, learning learning from uh from them but yeah uh patience definitely was a um thing for me so yeah right 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 yeah, yeah. it was definitely hum humbling so um i am i am very glad that i went went through that last year so so, what are your emotions now? What are you feeling, man? Uh, honestly, I'm really calm about it. Um, I'm neutral with it. You know, what I'm saying I, I, I play, play, play ball. So, uh, it's a um great thing for for me. But I'm ready to work. You know, what I'm saying now, now it's time to actually go put it out there on uh, on a tape and on. You know, what I'm saying TV and stuff and uh, show what I'm cap capable of doing. Not just from the defense standpoint, but for teams as well so yeah. what was it about this training camp for preseason that you felt went so right uh honestly you know what i'm saying like honestly like i said learning from last year uh just being able to be a student is important and i feel like this year i was more so of a student and like every day i learned something different and uh i try to get better at that the whole camp so and obviously this is the end goal where do you want to Fact. go from here Man, I'm, I'm trying to help this team win the Super Bowl in any place, you know what I'm saying? Special teams and uh, just knowing my role and I'm going to be the best person in my uh, my role or whatever role they put put me in. So. Special teams is the year. Right, right. Turnover year to year and you lose guys like Luke Kipper. Right, right. So what makes you confident that this unit can gel quickly and be as effective as it was last year? Um, I mean, I mean, look at the team now. We got some dudes, you know, um, and and like and honestly, it's the uh, locker room. We have a brotherhood in here, um, and honestly, that's that's honestly the main thing that's gonna get us to where we're trying trying to go, and that's the Super Bowl. So, Mike, Mike just kind of told us that this is probably the deepest safety room. Facts. Facts. What is it like for you to be part of that, but also? Man, it's crazy because when I had first got here last last year. I really didn't look at the uh, roster depth, and then I'm like, dang, I'm like, it's like some dudes in here, J.K. Dono, um, Leak, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's some dudes in there, and then you know what I'm saying, adding me and me and me and Bell and stuff too. So it, was, so it just like, honestly, it felt great to be added to that. So. Do you feel like you're gonna have to step in and play some uh, snaps in the second level this year? Have you talked about that? What's kind of your mindset? Um, we haven't talked about it yet, but. Whatever role they put put me in, I'm gonna do my best at it, and then I'm gonna give 100 percent every day. So. Man, uh, she was on the phone crying. Uh, I really can't hear. I was like, Mom, just like breathe. Like you know what I'm saying. She was crying. She um she um she said she was proud proud of me, and this is what I worked hard for and that she uh, loved, loved me and then it kind of made me kind of cry and I'm like man mama you got me crying I don't even want to cry you see what I'm saying so um yeah man it's just a level of of um just working hard and like honestly you know God rewards people that stays down and works works hard and then obviously a lot of people go through the darker days but at the end of the tunnel it's going to be be a light and I uh, feel like today's a day that I have a little bit of light back up but I honestly got to keep on going so Thank you so much. Thank you.